All right, a little bit of midnight madness here. Out here in the shed, crunching some numbers for our Taylor Dunkart. My target voltage here is gonna be 120 volt. And I got these cells up here we're gonna use from batteryhookup.com. And some of those, so I'm probably gonna use a combination of uh, some of these and one of those, I think. So let me, let me share with you my, uh, my numbers here. So I, I had the options here of how many cells to use. So basically you take the, uh, the number of cells that you're, uh, that you're trying to, uh, get to actually you would take your, uh, your, your target voltage. So we just took 120 volts, um, and we then divided it by 4.2, which was the, the top end of these cells, the, um, fully charged voltage, divide that by 4.2, and you end up with a, a number that's a decimal point, but we can't use, um, we can't use 28.583333 of these cells to make a pack. We have to use a whole cell. Um, so we have some options here. Uh, 28.5 was the number that we came out with when we divide 120 divided by 4.2. Um, and so we either need to go up or we need to go down uh, or stay right at 28. But here's our, uh, our predicament here. And I drew to you, you drew you a little, uh, a chart so we can see kind of what we're working with and what we're trying to get to. So with 28 volts, if we would have just, or sorry, 28 cells, if we would have just stayed, stayed there, our top end, our fully charged voltage would have been 117.6 volts. Um, our bottom would have been 70, um, but we're just going to focus on the top end, uh, fully charged because that's, um, why we're trying to stick to 120 volts because our, our grid voltage here that, that comes out of an outlet, um, is, uh, it tries to be 120. It isn't always there. Sometimes it's down to 110, 110 to 120 volts. So, uh, most of the time it should be right, right at about 120. So, um, if we charge our battery at 120 volts and the top end of this, this battery is full at 117, you see um, the 28 cell chart we got right here. So we'll, our battery is full at 117, but we charge it at 120. We will be overcharging this battery every time we, we charge it up. Um, and so uh, it's not necessarily feasible. Um, that last bit of charge might charge really slow. And if we just, you know, charge the first 90% and then unplug it. But if I leave it plugged in too long, we would probably make it a habit of overcharging the battery, which wouldn't be good. So our other option here is our, uh, we could go down to a 30, we could go up to a 30 cell, um, you know, to be safe, but then we go up to 30 cells and you can see we have another predicament because uh, we our our battery here the top end of this battery would be 126 volts and we would be charging at 120 uh, on a good day maybe 110 on a bad day whatever the grid is doing that day and um, we would be losing out on you know, the top 25% or the top 10% of this battery um, or more. So 30 cells isn't really ideal. So 29 cells seems to be the most ideal number of cells that we're going to go for for the 120 volt battery. And um, the top end of this charge is 121.8 volts. Bottom 72 doesn't really matter for this at the moment. So you can see on our chart here, if we charge it at 120 on a good day, um, we're, we're only like 1.8 volts away, which actually is really good. Um, preferably, I don't actually like charging these all the way up anyways, and I don't like discharging them all the way because I tend to not 
even mess with balancers. These cells don't drift apart very much um, because of their their low uh, internal resistance. They don't they don't drift like the uh, like the cells they have in these things as much. Um, so it's good to actually not charge it off all the way and just leave it, you know, one volt or half a volt under fully charged. Um, and so in this case, maybe since we're going to be charging them really fast, um, 1.8 volt underneath uh, the top end voltage might be good or even a little more than that on bad days. Um, so 29 cells seems ideal. Uh, and I've been trying to throw these numbers around in my head for a long time now. I just kind of wanted to get them on paper so I quit thinking about them. Um, and so what this ends up being, 29 cells, is um, the whole pack when I'm, when I'm all said and done is going to be about uh, 116 cells. So we're going to have uh, two, we'll have I guess a 4P, let me see if that's right, 116 divided by 4 is 29s, yeah, so it'll be a 4P. Hundred and sixteen cells, four P, so four four cells in parallel and then twenty-nine in series. And uh, the the individual cells are eight amp hour and at three point seven volts. So if we take we can figure out the kilowatt hour of the battery if we just take 116 times that by 3.7. Sorry, I did that wrong. Let me clear that. Uh, so we got to take, yeah, 116 times that by eight amp hours, then times that by 3.7. Oh, I didn't do 3.7, I did 37, which it's okay, I'll just move the decimal point. Uh, that'll leave us a 3.433 kilowatt hour. So kilowatt hour will be 3.4. Four, three, three um, kilowatt hour. Uh, that is the size of our battery, and and if we're not using the top end of it, we probably can just leave off these threes, as they won't matter anyways. And probably even that four, maybe the four will be down to a one or something. But so that's that's what our battery is going to be. Uh, seems like a lot of effort just to try to figure out how to build this battery for this, but um, I'm kind of excited about this. Now, if you guys have any ideas on how we can limit current, okay, because we're going to be charging this right off of the grid, and most most circuits are limited at 15 amps. Um, and if you get a good circuit, it's 20 at 120 volts. So if we can limit 15 amps, that would be great. And that would give us, um, you know, the charge rate of that would be Oh, well, that would be pretty decent. So, if you have any way, if you guys know of any ways that we can just very, very simply limit the current, um, I've done a little bit of thought on it, but I haven't came up with any solid solutions. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that.